Hello, people. Um, I just watched um, The Last of Us Part 1 trailer yesterday. I did watch it. And what do I think about it? I just don't really care. To me, it's just the same video game. You know? They just polished it up and made it look a little bit better. Like, I don't get why these game designers, like Naughty Dog, and especially Rockstar, and um, the people who made the Skyrim games, um, and Fallout games, why they keep releasing the same game over and over again. How many times do you have to release a game? For Grand Theft Auto, they released it on the PS3. That's where it first started. And the PS4. And and now they released it on the PS5. How many times do you have to release the same fucking game? It's fucking ridiculous. Same with Skyrim. They released it on the PS3, that's where it started from, and PS4, and now PS5. It's a waste, it's a waste of their fucking money. They keep releasing the same game over and over again, and I say the same thing about Naughty Dog with, um, with Last of Us, the first Last of Us. Now they released it on, well, where it first started, released it on the PS3, PS4, and now PS5. It's just, it's just, it's still the same game. It's just polished. It's not a remake, it's just still the same fucking game with the same story. It's not a remake. Um... Everybody's saying it's a remake. It's just a polished version of the game itself. And and I don't really want nothing to do with the Last of Us franchise for what they've done to Joel in the second game. I have I don't want nothing to fucking do with it. It's it's complete garbage. The whole franchise itself it's garbage what Neil Druckmann done to all the old school fans. Like, practically lied with all the trailers. And not just that, too. He even proudly said it himself. He said, oh, you're going to, get, you're going to play Ellie and Joel in this game. But the only character you do play is fucking Ellie. And, and the other one... Abby Zilla. I didn't even play the fucking second game. And I heard a lot of fucking... You know... Negative feedback about it. And yeah, I'm not touching it. And I'm not buying it. And I actually seen how they killed off Joel. And I heard people's stories. What they said. How long he had in that game. It was only two hours into the story. And they fucking capped him. Fucking killed him. Annihilated him. Kaput. You know, made him went to the ferryman, you know. Made him went to Van Hala or Heaven or wherever he went, you know. Um, and yeah, I just didn't like how Neil Druckmann, during the time of The Last of Us Part 2, how he lied to us with all the trailers, and how he... How, they were making out Joel was mostly in the game, but he was practically not. They practically done a fraud. That was basically fraud. He should be charged for doing that. You know, giving us bad appetizement. Bad appetizement. That's why I never touched the game. At all. And especially what he did to YouTubers when all the YouTubers all around the world were exposing him as being a compulsive liar to the old school fans 
And I'm not touching this game. I'm not touching this remake. Shit, bullshit, fucking, you know. Like, the, you know, it's, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not touching this game at all. Because they're just releasing the same game. It's like they don't got nothing in their sleeves, you know. Like, they don't got nothing under their sleeves. Nothing... Like, they don't got anything new on the top of their minds, where they, what they can create, but they just wanted to keep releasing the same garbage over and over again. And I don't like when people release the same game about that many times. Same with Skyrim. Um, Skyrim, Grand Theft Auto Five, and... Skyrim, Grand Theft Auto, Five, and Last of Us. I just don't like that. I don't like how they keep constantly re-releasing the game. But with the Mafia, I can make an exception on that. Um, like with the Mafia, the Definitive Edition, they released. Pratic I got the trilogy, and I did like the. The, the original and the uh, remake remaster to it the, for the first game that's okay and practically i got all the all the old games from it you know from the first one i love the first mafia i love the second mafia i love I, well i never even played the third mafia and already finished the third mafia and i like the third mafia game uh, well, I finished the whole definitive condition. That that I can make an exception on that. But the thing is, right? It's like they don't got no creative charisma anymore when they're making video games. It's just like they're just making the they just want to re-release the same shit. It's like it's like eating the same shit over and over and over and over again. It's like eating the same stuff. It starts to get old in your mouth. And, and you start to lose, you know, that nice flavor of what, the same thing what you're eating. And it starts to taste complete garbage. This is what these game designers are doing. It's complete fucking garbage. And, and, and like Rockstar, they, they don't even have any, you know, creativity up their sleeves. The only thing, they just don't make constant video games like they used to no more. Same with like Naughty Dog. They used to make a lot of good games back in the days, like all the Crash Bandicoots and, and, like, Jack and Dexter and, and, Jack and Dexter, Uncharted, and all them games. Like they, they made a lot of good games back in the days. Same with um, Rockstar. They used to had a lot of games up their sleeves before, you know, and they even had projects they wanted to do, but they don't want to do it because they rather pay more attention to GTA Five too much. It's like a Fezda. Oh, a Fezda is at the yeah. It's like a Fezda with um Skyrim. They keep releasing the same bullshit. The last game they release, it's creative, was Fallout 4. They, and the thing is, they keep going back to the old shit. It, it's already been... It, it's, oh, it's like uh, I'm trying to, rem, trying to get this out of my head. Um, stop creating... Uh, it's like you go, it's like, it's like, um, it's like they're trying to turn a beautiful thing into shit. Like when they keep re-releasing it, people are going to get sick of seeing the same shit. It's the same with Last of Us, this remake of Last of Us Part 1. It's still the same game. For me, I wouldn't buy it because I don't want nothing to do with the franchise at all. And everybody can... I'm not telling anybody what to do. I'm not telling anybody what to do. Um, you can buy it. 
I don't care. It's your money. You do whatever you damn please with your money. Okay? But the thing is, right? Is it worth buying this game? When it's the same product you brought before. Like, seriously. It's the same product. Just, well, all they've done with it is just polished it up. And I bet you any money when it comes out and people will be playing it, it will look the same and it will look the same and feel the same. And everything will look the same. Nothing wouldn't change. It's just a, a polished version of the game. A more detailed version of the game, I should say. All they're doing is just releasing on the PS5. It's just another... It's just another... Like... Uh, it's just like I'm trying to get that word out. It's like what I said before. They should have just left it alone. They should have just released... Only the two ones, you know, the 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 PS3 version, and and they should have just, you know, left of left it as the remaster and just leave it as that. But they just want to keep recycling the same game. But I'm not telling you, I'm not telling you what to do. You can buy it, more or less. What I'm saying to myself, I'm not going to waste my money on a game I already played, and yes, I'm not. I'm not going to play it. Like, like I brought Metro on the PS5 because um, it didn't really work so well on the PS4. Um, because because it was like kicking me off, like giving me the blue screen, like kicking me off. That's why I brought Metro, the Metro Exodus, and it comes with the whole bundle, like um, um, Sam Story and um, Two Colonels. I brought that for that reason, cause cause I wanted to play Metro in its fullest with like the with the ray tracing and stuff in it, too. Yeah, that's and I make an exception on that one too. Um, yep, that's all I've got to say about it, I, I just don't want nothing to do with the, the Last of Us, um, franchise, for what they've done to Joel, one of my favorite characters, and I practically did snap the, my, um, my, um, copy of the, um, Last of Us remastered, it's on my YouTube channel, I just don't want nothing to do with it, like, Neil Druckmann is a liar, he's always will be. He lied to everybody, and yeah, I just want to leave us that. Bye and see ya. God bless.